Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Skillset Go. In the previous videos, we have seen what is gap mapping, what is post mapping, and how to pass a student ID as a path variable. And using the GPA APIs, how we can directly modify the database. So find all is API to get all the data, find by ID to get particular student ID details, and save is inserting a new data into a database. So in this video, you will see what is put request. So the main difference between post mapping and put mapping is normally post mapping is used to pass a new data to a API and that data will be inserted into database. And put mapping is generally used for updating the existing data. So it is almost same. So let's copy the method and paste it. Let's say update this update data and that's it we don't need to do any change because save api is responsible to insert suppose if the student data is not present in database it will insert the data and if it is already present with the particular id it will update the date update the row so this is like save and update so we don't need to change this api we can use a same api and here we will get a same data what we have updated so let's so the main difference between these two is this is post mapping and we need to put this as put mapping so let's relaunch this app So let's go to the H2 console that is database console. Let's reconnect it. Connect it. Select star from student. So presently we have three rows. Let's update any one of this row using the put request. So we need to change this request type as put and we need to pass the data so we need to update the student id 103 so presently if you see 103 score is 434 and name is suresh let's update the score and name so 103 let's give it name as ashok kumar dulipala and score as 450 and now this row should get modified so let's send this request so we have got the updated data and let's see the database whether it has new data or not. Let's run this query again. Here you can see the third row got updated. So this is the main purpose of this put request. We will update the existing data using this API. So we have seen all types of main types of requests. One is get mapping which will get all the students. Get mapping and we are passing the ID. We will get particular student details and post mapping we are inserting new student details and put mapping we are updating the data so in future videos so here if you can see we have used a basic CRUD operations like update insert get student by id and get all students suppose if you want to get student details with the particular score our student details with a particular name here we have find by id api but we don't have find by id find by score so we don't have other apis find by student name find by score or if you want to sort the result by any student name or score by id we don't have all those apis in, in next video we will see how to achieve those APIs or those results from the database using a JPA repository very easily. So please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.